Hello tech enthusiasts! If you're a fan of in-depth tech reviews and comparisons, consider subscribing, sharing and liking for more content. Today, we're diving into a thrilling comparison between two tech giants, the M1 MacBook Air and the M3 MacBook Pro. We'll be looking at various factors that come into play when purchasing a laptop, including the package, cost and productivity. Moreover, we'll delve into the Geekbench benchmarks to see how these devices stack up against each other in terms of raw power. Stay tuned to find out which MacBook comes out on top. But first, a quick introduction to our contenders. Today, we're looking at two powerhouses from the Apple family, the M1 MacBook Air and the M3 MacBook Pro. On one side, we have the M1 MacBook Air, a sleek, lightweight machine with an 8-core CPU and 8-core GPU. It's known for its fanless design, which makes it whisper quiet, and its impressive battery life, which can last up to 18 hours. On the other side, we have the yet-to-be-released M3 MacBook Pro. While its exact specifications are still under wraps, it's rumored to feature a 12-core CPU and 16-core GPU, promising a significant boost in performance. The Pro is also known for its brighter, more color-accurate display and superior speakers. Both machines come with Apple's custom silicon chips, which integrate the CPU, GPU, and other components onto a single chip for increased performance and efficiency. They also both feature Apple's Retina display for crisp, vibrant visuals. Now, let's dive into the details. We start with the CPU benchmarks on Geekbench. Now, for those who aren't familiar with Geekbench, it's an industry standard platform that measures the performance of a device's central processing unit or CPU. The higher the score, the better the performance. It's a bit like an IQ test for your device. Let's dive into the numbers. The M1 MacBook Air clocks in with a multi-core score around the mid-7000s range, which is quite impressive for a fanless device. This means it's capable of handling most everyday tasks with ease, everything from web browsing to light video editing. On the other hand, the M3 MacBook Pro with its powerful 10-core CPU shoots right up into the high 8000s. That's a substantial leap, indicating that the M3 MacBook Pro is designed to handle more demanding tasks like heavy video editing, 3D rendering, or complex computational tasks. Now, in terms of single-core scores, both the M1 and M3 are neck and neck, landing in the mid to high 1000s. What this means is that for tasks that don't require multiple cores, like loading a web page or opening an app, you're not going to see a significant difference between the two devices. So, what does this all mean? If you're a casual user who mainly uses their laptop for browsing, streaming and other light tasks, the M1 MacBook Air should serve you well. But if you're a power user who needs to run demanding applications, the M3 MacBook Pro is the way to go. Keep in mind though, these are just benchmarks. Real-world performance can vary based on a multitude of factors, like the specific applications you're running, how well the software is optimized, and even the temperature of your room. So, that's how the CPUs stack up. But what about the GPUs? Scene script. Next up, we look at the GPU benchmarks on Geekbench. Now, when it comes to graphics performance, the graphics processing unit, or GPU, plays a significant role. It's essentially the heart of all the visual magic that unfolds on your screen, from the smoothness of video playback to the stunning realism in games. Let's dive into the numbers. Geekbench provides us with a comprehensive view of the GPU performance of both the M1 MacBook Air and the M3 MacBook Pro. Remember, higher scores indicate better performance. Starting with the MacBook Air, its M1 chip GPU delivers a solid performance with a score that's quite impressive for an ultra-portable laptop. It churns out high-quality graphics with ease, whether you're editing high-resolution photos or indulging in some light gaming. Switching gears to the MacBook Pro, the M3 chip GPU steps it up a notch. The scores are noticeably higher, reflecting its increased power and efficiency. This device is designed to handle more graphically intensive tasks, 
So whether you're into professional video editing or high-end gaming, the MacBook Pro has got you covered. But what do these numbers really mean? Well, to put it simply, they translate to smooth, lag-free visuals and faster rendering times. This means less time waiting for your work to process and more time being productive or enjoying your favorite games. However, it's important to keep in mind that while benchmarks provide a standardized measure of performance, they don't tell the whole story. Real-world usage can often differ, influenced by factors such as software, optimization and thermal performance. With the GPU benchmarks in, we have a clearer picture of the device's performance. But there's more to consider. Now, let's consider the package, cost and productivity of each device. When you unbox the M1 MacBook Air, you get the laptop itself, a USB-C charge cable, and a 30W USB-C power adapter. It's a minimalistic package in line with Apple's sleek design philosophy. The M3 MacBook Pro, on the other hand, offers a similar unboxing experience. It comes with the laptop, a USB-C charge cable, and a slightly more powerful 61W USB-C power adapter. The Pro also includes a touch bar and touch ID, which aren't available on the Air. So, in terms of package, both are quite similar, but the Pro does have a slight edge with its added features. Moving on to cost, the M1 MacBook Air starts at $1,000 for the base model. This makes it a more affordable choice for those on a budget or those who need a laptop for basic tasks. The M3 MacBook Pro, however, starts at approximately $1,800. This is a significant jump in price. But remember, with the Pro, you're also getting a more powerful machine with better performance capabilities. Now, let's talk productivity. The M1 MacBook Air boasts a battery life of up to 18 hours, which is more than enough for a full day of work or study. Its keyboard is comfortable and responsive, and its retina display offers crisp, vibrant visuals. The M3 MacBook Pro, on the other hand, offers a slightly shorter battery life of up to 17 hours. However, it compensates with its superior performance and a brighter and more color-accurate Liquid Retina XDR display. It also comes with a better audio system, which can be a deciding factor for those involved in multimedia work. In terms of productivity, both devices are quite capable. If you're someone who values portability and battery life, the Air might be a better fit. However, if you're a power user who needs a high-performance machine for tasks like video editing or 3D modeling, the Pro might be worth the extra cost. So, that's a comprehensive comparison of the M1 MacBook Air and M3 MacBook Pro. It ultimately comes down to what you value more, affordability and portability, or power and performance. Regardless of your choice, both devices offer a top-notch Apple experience that's hard to beat. It's been a tough fight, but it's time to declare a winner. In this corner, we have the M1 MacBook Air, a device that's truly pushed the boundaries of what we can expect from an entry-level laptop. With its impressive CPU performance and energy efficiency, this device has proven that it's more than capable of handling everyday tasks and lightweight professional workloads. On the other hand, the M3 MacBook Pro has shown us that it's not just about raw power. It's about how that power is utilized. With its superior GPU performance, the M3 MacBook Pro is a real beast when it comes to graphics-intensive tasks, proving that it's the go-to device for creatives and professionals. However, considering the cost and what you get in the package, the M1 MacBook Air offers an incredible value proposition. It delivers a lot of the features and performance of the Pro, but at a significantly lower cost, making it a great choice for those who want a balance of performance and affordability. So, in this battle, the M1 MacBook Air emerges as the victor. It's the perfect blend of price, performance and productivity, making it the ultimate device for a wide range of users. And that's it for today's comparison. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like for more content. Thanks for watching.